here once again from shortmeetina.com with my daily recap. Thank you for being here and welcome. Before I kick it off, do me a solid, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Anyway, right now what you have on the screen is the SPY, the S&P 500. It's a daily chart. It goes back to 2017, so about two years. So what happened today? I woke up this morning and I found out that the U.S. and China has come to some sort of deal to roll back tariffs, right? Tariffs. That's great. Uh, the reaction to the market, in my opinion, based on this close, was relatively, quote unquote, muted, right? We're only up about 0.36% on the day. What was today's high? We went as high as 309.65. We pulled back, closed at 308.21. The day's low was 307.66. Heading into tomorrow, you might experience a pullback. Uh, uh, how I would gauge whether or not the market is ready to pull back. Obviously, I'd always be paying attention to how the stock opens up and if we take out the previous day's lows. So that means that if we open up below 308.21, we take out the low of 307.66, chances are we are going to pull back. Now, if we pull back to anywhere from 293 to 302, I still think the market is in a bullish uptrend. And if that continues, and again, this positive news on trade deals, in my opinion, should influence the market positively. Uh, it may not happen immediately, Immediately, pardon, it may actually take some time to unfold. And if that occurs, I can see the SPY hitting around, uh, what did I say yesterday? Around uh, 328 to 330. So still about six or so percent of upside from current levels. So that's what I'm paying attention to. What else? All right, IWM retested that 160 level once again today. Again, this is a daily chart. Not again, I didn't tell you, but I'm telling you now. It's a daily chart dating back to 2017. Anyway, so we retested once again that 160 level. We went as high as 116.17, I believe. Obviously, eventually pulled back to close at 158.67. The low is 158.17. So in this situation with the IWM, we closed relatively close two session lows and just based on selling the last few trading days although uh the volume i want to say isn't necessarily above average volume uh nonetheless pulled back i wouldn't be surprised to see this pullback continue perhaps into tomorrow and me maybe even next week but again this trade deal in my opinion should affect the markets positively positively not necessarily in the shorter term but definitely in the intermediate and long term so even if we have a pullback i still expect the markets to eventually drift higher and the iwm to at minimum retest its all-time highs of around 173.39 what else and then we have disney company reported earnings today i did not get a chance to actually comb through it to see whether or not they hit they missed and what guidance is going forward i will do that at some point uh but we're just going to focus in on the technicals because i am a technical trader although i incorporate i have to fundamentals when i'm dealing with my investments and i think disney uh, is it's good for both. I think Disney can be very tradable. I also think longer term, it is a great investment. Anyway, although we closed at 132.96, it's actually up about north of 7% in after hours. I see a quote in the 140. So we're very much so in after hours, relatively close to the stock, the stock's all time high. And I think all time high clocks in at 147.15. So I would not be surprised within 2019 for us to retest that 147.15 high and go higher, right? I maintained, and at least initially, that Disney was a 150 stock. I almost see that written in the cards, right? Quote, I almost see that written in the cards and I eventually see a print of 200. So if you can stick it out, I think you should with Disney. I think it has, uh, I think it, it has good things to come in the future, right? So I like Disney. What else? All right, and then we have ticker H-E-A-R daily chart. Uh, stock close essentially flat to up on the day, 0.3% at $10. Company reported earnings. It is down in after hours, down over 12%. I see a quote around $8.43. So that's somewhere around this gap here. And um, this stock was one of those stocks that was pumped. Maybe pumped is not the best word, but it was um, spoken about very positively. Uh, in the financial channels for a very long time. 
Hence why you saw this huge run up where the stock topped out at around uh, 34 to $35. But since doing that, August 2018 of last year, it has been in a continuous downtrend uh, and it's reflected as well in after hours. So there is a bit of support around that $8.40 level, but I suspect that that's not gonna hold. And I see ticker H-E-A-R trading uh, in the shorter term and intermediate term somewhere around, uh, I wanna say anywhere from five to around $7. So in my opinion, there's still a great deal of downside left for ticker H-E-A-R. What else? All right, so let's uh, wrap it up and round it out with ticker IVC uh, daily chart. Stock is up about uh, 42% on the day. So huge congrats to the bulls. Uh, closed at $11.26. Today's high was eleven sixty three. So we closed relatively close to the high with confirming volume. It's down slightly in after hours. Nothing in my opinion that's too troubling or alarming, but you definitely want to pay attention to how things unfold in pre-market tomorrow, as well as how the stock actually opens up. Now, if we open up above today's close of 11.26, take out today's high of 11.63, then in, then then, right, then I'm fumbling, then in my opinion, ticker IVC is actually on its way to fill this gap here of around $13.07 right here. You know, most gaps or a high percentages of gaps, in my opinions, they tend to get filled eventually. And it looks like ticker IVC wants to do this. So sitting here at 11.26, you can still potentially make about two points or $2 per share if you want to go long, but obviously you want to pay attention and control your downside. Cue that the stocks the stock actually wants higher. Again, it opens up strong. So if we can open up above 1126, take out today's high of 1163, you're on your way to around $13 in my opinion. And that's my take on ticker IVC. And we're gonna cut it and wrap it there. Tina here, once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of this video, I'd like for you to do three things for me. One, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of my analysis. I talked about the SPY, the IWM, Disney, here, and ticker IVC. Do you agree, disagree? Again, comment in the comment section. Section. Secondly, I do videos daily. If you want to ensure that you don't miss any, uh, head on over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. You're actually supposed to do that at the beginning, but if you didn't, second chance, hit that subscribe button. Don't close the browser, hit that subscribe button. And lastly, I've been trading for well over 15 years, closer to 20, that's about two decades. So if you could, if you think you can learn anything from me, then definitely head on over to our website, shortmetina.com, because I have a small mini crash course where I just teach a couple of things that I think can help you, especially if you are not seeing any level of consistency in the stock market, all right? So do that, and I will talk to you tomorrow. So thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for the support, and like I said, bye.